The Way of the Cross for the Souls in Purgatory The Way of the Cross represents the sorrowful journey that Jesus made with the cross to die on Calvary. The Church teaches that the souls in purgatory undergo a process of purification that must include suffering. By praying and making sacrifice for the holy souls, we have the power and privilege to relieve their pain. In return, their gratitude will bring us countless blessings. Preparatory Prayers O oh my Jesus, I love you above all things. I hate and detest all my sins because by them I have offended you. The holy indulgences, the fruits and merits of this devotion, I intend to gain for the souls in purgatory, in particular for those who in life were near and dear to me, and also for those for whom I am in a special way obliged to pray. O Mary, our merciful mother, and the mother of the poor souls in purgatory, accompany us by your intercession on this journey. Almighty Father, we place the precious blood of Jesus before our lips, before we pray, that our prayers may be purified before they ascend to your divine altar. Amen. The First Station Jesus is Condemned to Death We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us go back to the Garden of Olives where Jesus saw the sins of the world. He also saw lukewarm souls who would know what he had done for them and still would turn their backs on his love. This caused him the greatest pain. This caused the agony. Still, Jesus willingly chose to die for us to give us every chance to turn to him. O oh, my innocent Jesus, to free me from the eternal death, you allowed yourself to be condemned by a pagan judge to the death of the cross. Give me a hatred for sin and the grace to live that I may one day obtain from you a merciful sentence. The poor souls in purgatory have already been judged. Through your mercy they have escaped hell. Yet on account of their sins, your justice has caused them to suffer the pains of purgatory. O most merciful Jesus, have pity on them. Revoke the sentence of their exile and open to them the gates of heaven. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The Second Station Jesus Accepts His Cross we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord has given his heavy cross, which he embraces with so much love. He has complete trust in the Father. He has lost so much of his precious blood and is weak, but out of holy obedience he continues onward, his heart overflowing with love for us. O holy cross, you are the tree of life, the gate of heaven, our salvation and our only hope. Be my salvation at the hour of death. O Jesus, be mindful of your servants who have departed from this life with the sign of faith. Free them by the victorious power of your cross, by which you have conquered death. Lead them into eternal life and happiness. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our dear Lord falls for the first time. The weight of the cross is so heavy it pushes him to the ground, but he gets back up to push forward, to persevere for love of us. He knows that we are sinners, that we too will fall, but he asks us to keep trying, to turn to him when our cross gets heavy. O oh Jesus, through your weakness under the cross and the merits of this first fall, grant me perseverance in my good resolutions, that I may always walk faithfully in your holy ways. The souls in purgatory now suffer because they realize that no sin-stained soul can see God. Therefore, have mercy on them and cleanse them from all sin. Through the intercession of your sorrowful mother, deliver them from purgatory. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Here the Immaculate Heart of Mary meets the Sacred Heart of Jesus on the road to Calvary. Our sorrowful mother is carrying her own heavy cross as she watches her son suffer so much. Her pain is so great, a sword is piercing her gentle heart, yet she accepts all that is happening and puts her trust in God. May we follow her example and have complete trust and obedience to God's holy will. O heart of Mary, O heart of Jesus, I offer my life for my sins. May the sweet names of Jesus and Mary be on my lips and in my heart at the hour of my death. O sweetest heart of Jesus, I implore that I may love you more and more. Sweet heart of Mary, be our salvation. Mother most sorrowful, merciful queen of the holy souls, into your hands I place my few merits and implore you to unite them with the infinite merits of your son. Offer them to the eternal father for the souls who are bound to me by ties of relationship. My Jesus, mercy. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Simon of Cyrene is reluctant at first to carry his cross. 
Many times we too are afraid or reluctant to pick up the cross that we are asked to carry. Today let us ask our Lord for the grace to accept our crosses daily and to open our hearts to help the poor suffering souls in purgatory as well as those souls who are in peril of going to hell. My Jesus, I accept the cross. I embrace it. Let me help you to carry your cross by being patient in all trials that may assail me. How many souls in purgatory now regret their past impatience? But you, O oh Lord, be generous with them and remit that all that still remains to be expiated. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The Sixth Station Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Saint Veronica loved our Lord so much, and wanting to do what she could to ease his pain, bravely wiped his face. Never to be outdone, our Lord was so grateful that he left an imprint of his face on her veil. Small acts of love we offer to our Lord throughout the day are like a balm to his wounds. Small acts of love we offer him on behalf of the souls in purgatory bring him tremendous joy. O Lord Jesus Christ, you who have left on Veronica's veil the image of your blood-stained countenance, Grant that the memory of your bitter passion and death may ever remain impressed on my soul. Have pity on the poor souls made to your image and likeness and redeemed by your most precious blood. Free them from all sin that they may enter heaven to see you face to face forever and ever. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The Seventh Station Jesus Falls the Second Time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord Jesus falls again. Envision him on the ground in agony. Agony that he suffered for you, for me, our family, our friends, as well as all the souls in purgatory who are now unable to pray for themselves. Because of his great unconditional love for us, he once again rose and continued. We fall many times every day, and our crosses sometimes feel so heavy. Let us remember his great self-emptying love for us and get back up and resume the walk for love of him. My sins have made your cross heavy, O oh Jesus. I detest them and firmly propose to amend my life. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Have mercy, O oh Jesus, on the souls who now suffer the pains of purgatory for sins committed in this life. O oh clement heart of Jesus, have compassion on them. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The Eighth Station Jesus Comforts the Women of Jerusalem We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The women weep when they see our Lord suffer so much, just as we do when we recall his passion. Even on his way to Calvary, he is still teaching. He teaches them and us to pray and sacrifice for our loved ones. He knows our joys and our sorrows, and the road will not always be easy, but to follow him who is the way, the truth, and the life. We, like the women of Jerusalem, pray for ourselves and our family, who are or may be in danger of turning away from him. Most compassionate heart of Jesus, my Jesus, who said to the holy women, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Make me weep for the ingratitude that I have returned for your love. I wish to make amends in this life for my sins, that I may obtain pardon for them in the next. Grant me a tender love for the souls in purgatory, especially for the souls of my relatives. For the future, I promise to do what I have neglected through my forgetfulness and hardness of heart. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The Ninth Station Jesus Falls the Third Time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord falls for the third and final time how much pain he must be feeling, which is now intensely magnified as his cross seems to be crushing him to the ground. And yet he once again gets up out of love for us. He shows us that no matter how many times we fall, he is there helping us up, bringing us back to him, helping us carry our cross. Through this most painful fall, O Jesus, I ask you to deliver me from an unhappy death, which would plunge me into hell. From the power of the enemy, deliver my immortal soul and make me live and die in your grace. Look with mercy upon the poor souls doing penance in purgatory and lead them out of that place of purification into the blessed peace of heaven, there to enjoy forever the splendor of your glory. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord is stripped naked of his garments. Our great and mighty Lord and Savior is humiliated in front of all. He permitted this to happen. He did not defend nor fight back, but showed us his love and what it takes to join him in paradise. We too are called to offer up our weaknesses, 
our humiliations, to not hold anything back, because as St. Paul reminds us, in our weakness we are made strong. My most blessed Redeemer, stripped of your garments for love of me, grant me holy modesty and purity. Deliver me from all dangerous inclinations to created things. Make me die to everything of this world, that at death separation from all earthly things may be easy. Of what benefit now are wealth and the pleasures of this world to the souls in purgatory? Their bodies they had to leave to decay in dust of death and their wealth to heirs. Only their works have followed them, the good to be rewarded and the evil to be punished. O Lord, put an end to their suffering. Do not keep them any longer from the inheritance of the saints, but pardon them and admit them into the realm of eternal bliss and happiness. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, <clears throat> full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of thy death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The Eleventh Station Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord Jesus is now nailed to the cross. Through his excruciating agony, he forgives his tormentors and pleads with the Father to also forgive them. Even with his last few breaths, he continues to teach us to forgive and love all who may have offended us. He knows we are weak and he knows that we do not always understand the consequences of what we are doing. With contrite hearts, we turn to him and say, my most innocent Jesus, nailed to the cross for my sins, I beseech you through the merits of your horrible suffering to come to my aid in my last sickness and agony. Grant me the grace to receive in time your most holy sacraments. Come to, the, to me then, O most holy Viaticum, and pour into my soul the patience of your most sacred heart. And you, O Mary, my mother, Console me in that hour and make sweet my sufferings through the sorrow that pierced your heart at the crucifixion. Lamb of God, have mercy on the souls in purgatory whose sufferings are greater than the sick and dying. Spare them this agony and through the merits of your passion, admit them into eternal paradise. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. The Twelfth Station Jesus Dies on the Cross We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus offered his life to the Father for us. He is thirsting for souls. He wants us all, the fervent, the humble, the meek, the indifferent, the lukewarm. He wants us all just as we are. He thirsts for us to come to him in our weakness and sin and in our brokenness. He thirsts for us to trust in his mercy. Our Blessed Mother stands at the foot of the cross waiting for us to quench the longing within the heart of her Son. O Jesus, 
three or three hours agony on the cross. Grant me a happy death. Take me when I am best prepared. In that hour, fill my soul with holy sentiments of faith, hope, and charity. Grant me true and perfect contrition for my sins and the grace to accept with Christian resignation my death with all its pains and sufferings. May I leave this world invoking your most holy name. Mary, mother of sorrows, refuge of the dying, be near to me in my last agony. Remember, O most loving Jesus, the poor souls with that love with which you gave comfort to the good thief. Today you will be with me in paradise. Call these souls into the kingdom of your glory, that they may praise you together with all the angels and saints forever and ever. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus has now died and is taken down from the cross and placed tenderly in our sorrowful mother's arms. The sword has pierced her deeply, but she continues to hope and trust in God and his promise. Mary is our mother, too, given to us by Jesus. We ask her to hold us in her arms and protect us and our families. We place in her hands the souls of those who have gone before us, trusting that she will intercede for them before the throne of God. O oh Jesus, you whose soul descended to the dead to announce peace to the just of the Old Testament, descend now among the poor souls who yearn for you. Free them from the chains of their slavery and grant them the liberty of true children of God. O oh Mary, my mother, May I, like Jesus, be placed in your arms at my departure from this world. Be with me at the tribunal of the divine judge, that through your intercession I may obtain a favorable judgment. Sweetheart of Mary, be my salvation. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord is laid to rest in the tomb given by Joseph. The pain our blessed mother and the disciples suffered is indescribable. But this was also a day of great joy for the prophets and so many of the just who had gone before our Lord. On this day, Jesus was still preaching. He descended to the dead, to all the holy souls, to bring them his gift of salvation, his gift of mercy and redemption. O oh Jesus, through the merits of your bitter passion and death, and through your glorious resurrection, I beseech you to have compassion on the poor souls and grant them a happy and glorious admission into heaven. Let them enter into that peace so long desired. Let them contemplate the splendor of the beatific vision. Let them bless eternally your mercy. Sweetheart of Mary, be my salvation, that I may not be condemned to that place of agony when my body will be in the cold earth. 
let my soul flee the fires of purgatory. Most loving mother, on that day save your child. Bring me quick relief, and through your merits deliver me from the flames, that I may thank you in heaven, and with you and all the saints adore and love Jesus, your beloved Son, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, true God, forever and ever. Amen. My Jesus, mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. Closing Prayers My crucified Redeemer, we offer you this devotion, which by your grace we have just finished. Grant that the precious fruits of your death on the cross be not lost either for us or for the souls in purgatory. Mary, Mother of Sorrows, place our petitions in the heart of your beloved Son, so that we may be admitted to the kingdom of grace, there together with our dear ones, both living and dead, to be blessed eternally. O gentlest heart of Jesus, ever present in the blessed sacrament, ever consumed with burning love for the poor captive souls in purgatory, have mercy on them. Be gentle in your judgments, but let some drops of your precious blood fall upon the devouring flames. O merciful Savior, send your angels to conduct the poor souls to a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on them. Merciful Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Amen. Thank you for praying with me today. Many saints have assured us that one of the most efficacious ways to help the holy souls is to make the stations of the cross for them. This devotion not only has the power to release and alleviate many souls from purgatory, but is immensely pleasing to our Lord and beneficial for us. May God continue to bless us today and always.